Hello YouTube, uh, my name is Mike Lovelace and uh, I bought a Oak Reef Supply 5 stage plus unit and um, those things don't come with instructions so they're kind of hard to figure out. I mean they're really easy but I had some questions because I bought a booster pump kit and I couldn't really find much on YouTube about it. I did see my New York Stilo buddy up in the New York had a Spectre Pure and he kind of hinted a little bit how to do it but um, it's pretty simple. I actually added an extra stage to make it a six stage unit. I bought this off bulk, bulk reach supply also. It's a sediment filter. As you can see, it's coming in off the um, my main tank. Uh, it's the red line coming in. I didn't have enough pressure because I got well water. Uh, then it goes into my sediment filter. This is pre the booster pump. And this is done because it, uh, uh, of course, stops the sediment from going into the booster pump which is about hundred forty dollars off of bolt resupply so I didn't want to take a chance um, I think I bought this 10 stage I mean 10 inch um, sediment filter for like $13.99 off bulk resupply and then the sediment filter was like three dollars so it's pretty cheap but it comes out of that red line into the actual booster pump um, it's not actually on right now because I have a pressure switch turned on and I can just um, uh, turn a switch upstairs and it'll cut it off but that's the actual booster pump it, the red line coming in is the end the white line I ran out of the red line so I use I went to the just Lowe's or Home Depot and bought some quarter inch uh, water line it comes out of the booster pump up into actually the unit that I got from bulk resupply um, ignore the mess I got in my basement but this is the five stage unit um, the white line going in normally would be your uh, red line going in when you buy it from bulk resupply um, the white line goes in it goes through the three stage sediment uh, filters then it goes up into the membrane at the top um, when my well water wasn't pumping but about 30 psi's so I bought the booster pump, it jumped it all the way up to 90 PSI's. Uh, I downed it with a 1 16th Allen wrench to knock it down to 80, which is under warranty for the booster pump. But the gauge to the right is the, um, is the pressure gauge. Right now, I doubt we'll be able to see it from here. But right now it's running about 50 to 60 in just a normal uh, stagnant stage um, but after it goes through the membrane it comes back through the blue line which is eventually going to go up into the DI filter it comes down this is where I actually install the pressure switch uh, the pressure switch valve um, the black line to the left of it is going back to the booster pump uh, the blue line comes into it the pressure switch then goes out of it as well and it actually goes up to the DI filter and that's the DI filter with the TDS meter on top um, TDS meter is pretty cool and actually I'm, I'm not doing this because I work for B, BRS but it's pretty pretty awesome set, uh, setup uh, before it even goes into the TDS I mean uh, into the DI filter uh, it knocked mine down from about 85 showing in my regular well water knocked it down to one and after it goes through the di filter which is you know a charcoal filter it knocks it down to zero i actually have mine set up where it goes through my basement um the line to the right the white line is again i ran out of line so i had to get some water line at the your regular home depot or lowe's but that actually goes into my basement up around my i've got it wired going throughout my basement and goes up into my basement floor um, into my bedroom where I've got my fish aquarium so we'll go upstairs I got a cutoff valve on it which is pretty cool because now I don't have to carry and tote anything around I can just put the water straight into the tank and I don't have to put it in jugs and carry it around and I'll take you upstairs and show that to you as well but that is the uh, the setup uh, Again, ignore my mess down here. Sorry about it, but I, I like it pretty good. Um, I've had it running for about a week or two now, and it makes it so much easier as far as filling the tank up, and the water is just 
completely zero showing on the TDS meter when it comes out. We'll go upstairs next.